in this video we are going to make an installer for this uh, visual basic application using nsis so first of all let me describe about this application this application it is kind of a uh, quiz questions are there and multiple choice options are there we'll have to choose the correct option here so we'll click next in total there are 30 questions so finally if i select the answer for this last question and click submit it gives my name and the marks which i have obtained so <clears throat> To make an installer for this application, you need to install this NSIS and HMNIS edit. The links, I will be putting them on the description. I have already downloaded and you can see the shortcut keys. So first of all, we will create our folders. We'll go to my documents and right click here and create a new folder named NSIS. We'll double click on this folder. And create a new folder. project okay we'll <clears throat> get inside this project folder and right click and create a text file which would be our license file so whatever license we want to put we can place it in that license file so we shall right click and create a license dot text file So we'll double click on this file and here we can edit anything whatever we want to put in our license agreement we can put it here we can use this file uh, in our installer so whenever someone will install our application they can read this terms and conditions which we put in our license file so for now we will save this much only you can edit this as per your need okay so we shall add one more folder here in this project directory we shall name this application in this application folder we shall place all the uh, files and folders which we had about our uh, main Visual Studio application. So we shall go to Visual Studio project. Then my project was this one. Uh, so I'm going to select everything from here. Copy this and paste it in um, the application folder.
after this we are going to use HMNIS edit so I am opening HMNIS edit click file new script from wizard click next then here we can give our application name so the application name I am giving as digital marketing then version publishers all these things you can change accordingly now if you have a website and then click next so in this setup options setup icon if you have any icons you can select there for me i am keeping it as it is in the setup file i am keeping it as setup then in compress i am selecting lzma okay rest i am keeping as it is and then click next so here application default directory it is saying program files then digital marketing application so i am going to change this digital marketing application as application only so in my when i install the application the application will be installed in program files then slash application okay next we can allow user to change the application directory where the application will be installed if we check that box below that there is license file so the license file which we have created we are going to browse to that license file open that license file all right next so in this application files we'll select anything which is on the right hand side and click that cross button to delete those and then we will click on the uh, add directory tree click the browse button then select your application folder browse to your application folder and then click ok
click OK again. Now here we can add a description when installing so it will say like installs digital marketing exam application like that click next application start menu folder name we are going to keep as it is then allow user to change the start menu folder name we can allow or disallow here create an uninstall icon in the start menu folder then click next so here when the setup is complete either we want whether we want the user to launch the program or launch a readme file now the uninstaller we can keep as it is now in the wizard finished page we will Make sure that save script is checked and convert file path to relative path is checked. Then click finish. So finally we'll give a name to this .nsi file. I'm giving it as project. Click save. Now this uh, script is generated. We can see this NSI script is generated. now we have uh, the .nsi file which will generate the installer you can customize this script uh, if you want any any new things for your installer to do or more actions to be done by your installer then you can add your code here to add something to your main section of your installer Modify the lines between main section and section end to add something to your uninstaller. Modify the lines between section uninstall and section end. Always remember that when you add something to your installer, you must add reverse statement in uninstaller section. Like in main section, you put create shortcut, then in uninstall section you should put delete then the statement now click save click nsis compile script to build the installer executable so our installer is ready now if we check our folder project folder so here we can see a setup file is there now if we double click this setup file the okay next then i agree so your terms and condition would go here then click i agree install so you can browse this a user can browse this and install anywhere they like click install next run digital marketing application all right so this is the application so at the end we can give either run digital marketing application or we can give a read readme file also so in the desktop we can see a shortcut for our application next if we go to the start 
button and then start menu and then programs then digital marketing application we can see the program as well as an uninstall uh, program as well so if you click on the uninstall so it says do you want to uninstall all of its component yes it was successfully uninstalled that's it guys thank you for watching